Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you four ideas for lunches that are quick to make, easy, and delicious. So if you'd like some lunch ideas, just keep watching. First up, I'm making baked Italian sandwiches. We love these sandwiches. I've made them many times. Sometimes we have them for dinner or for lunch. I'll link the original recipe in the description box below. To get started, I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. In this small bowl, I have some softened butter that I'm going to add. To that, I'm adding some Italian seasoning, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm going to stir that until it's combined really well and set it aside. For the bread, you really can use whatever rolls you prefer. I'm using these hoagie rolls from Martin's. In a pinch, I've also used hot dog rolls. It works out just fine. But you are going to split them in half if they're not already or cut them in half. And then we're going to take some of that seasoned butter, spread it on both sides of the bread. You wanna spread it on the inside, the side that's going to face your meat and your fillings. Next, we're going to add our meat. Again, you can use whatever meat you prefer. I'm using some ham, and then I have this mix of prosciutto, capicola, and salami. I'm going to set the prosciutto aside and use that for a different recipe, so I'm just using the salami and capicola from this. Add as much meat as you like. For the cheese, again, use whatever you like. I'm using provolone. I'm going to place the lid back on my sandwich and then place it into a casserole dish. And then you can make as many sandwiches as what you want. Now I switched over to this sheet pan. Um, I realized my casserole dish was not big enough, but these are going to go into the oven and bake for 10 minutes. My brother and sister were over this day. They are 13 and 15. So I just set out a bunch of different condiments and toppings and potato chips. That way we could all make our sandwiches exactly the way that we wanted them. Here are the finished sandwiches out of the oven. And then here is my finished plate. I just added a little bit of mayonnaise, lettuce and tomato to mine. I keep it pretty simple on my sandwiches. And then I had some barbecue chips. That was lunch this day. Next, I'm making a Caprese flatbread pizza. I really like making flatbread pizzas or pita pizzas for lunch because they're quick and easy, they're delicious, and it's a great way to use up leftovers or things that I have on hand that I need to use up. This was my first time making a Caprese flatbread and it was delicious. I'll have the link that I took inspiration from, uh, or the recipe rather, I'll have it linked in the description box below. Here's what I'm using today. I have some fresh basil, this Trader Joe's balsamic glaze. This stuff is delicious. I have this pesto that I got. I think I got it at the Dollar Tree, maybe Walmart. I don't remember, but you can basically get it anywhere. I have some fresh mozzarella cheese that I need to use up, a Roma tomato, and then for the pizza crust, I'm using a non-flatbread or non-bread. You could also, like I said, use pita, or you could use just the already made pizza crust. Whatever you have works just fine. I've got my oven preheating to 375 degrees. I'm going to take one of the non breads and add them to a cookie sheet. I'm going to pop this into the preheated oven and cook it for about eight minutes. To assemble my flatbread pizza, I'm going to take some of the pesto and spread that over the non bread. Next, I'm going to add some slices of the Roma tomato. The original recipe suggested to use cherry tomatoes that you cut in half. I didn't have any on hand, I just had this Roma tomato, so that's what I used. But I should have seeded it uh, because it was just a tiny little bit watery. I'll definitely make this again, but next time I'll either seed the tomato if I'm using like a Roma tomato or I'll use the cherry tomatoes. Now I'm going to take the mozzarella cheese. I just broke it into pieces with my hands. You could shred it, of course, if you prefer. I'm going to place this back into the oven and bake it for about eight to 10 minutes until the cheese is melted and the crust is as you know cooked as what you like. If you like it a little bit crispier, you can cook it a little bit longer. If you like a softer crust, cook it for a couple less minutes. Once the pizza is out of the oven, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Then I'm going to add some fresh basil and some of that Trader Joe's balsamic glaze, and then that's it, the pizza will be ready. Here's the finished pizza, and then here is my plate. You could serve this with a salad or some vegetables. I wasn't super hungry this day, so I just had a couple slices of the pizza, and that was my lunch this day. 
Next up, I'm making tuna salad. I don't really have a recipe for this. I just make it the same way that my granny and my mom made it. Here's what I use. Use whatever you and your family like. I'm using yellow mustard, relish. I prefer sweet relish. If you prefer dill, use that. I've got some mayonnaise, salt and pepper, tuna fish. I prefer the tuna fish in water, but again, if you prefer oil, use what you like. And then I've got some hard boiled eggs that I've already cooked and I'm going to peel them. In this mixing bowl, I'm going to add in my tuna. I'm going to drain it really well in a colander and flake it with a fork. Next, I'm going to add in my hard boiled eggs. Now, I like to use my egg slicer. So what I do is put my egg in and then I close it. I take the egg, I turn it in the exact opposite direction, do it again, and it basically just chops your eggs up for you. So now I'm going to add the mayonnaise, mustard, relish, salt and pepper, and I don't measure anything. I just do it to taste and how much I, um, you know, how much mayonnaise or relish or everything really also depends on how much tuna fish I'm making that day. So just do this to your taste. And once I've got everything added, I'm going to stir it until it's combined really well. We like ours pretty simple like this. You can add diced onion, celery, bell pepper, tomatoes, whatever you like. Now you can eat this right away, but honestly, most of the time I make it in advance. I usually make it the night before or even the morning before we're going to eat it. So I'm going to place this into an airtight container, cover it with a lid and place this into the refrigerator until we're ready for lunch. Now here's my finished plate. I like it simple. I just put it on some white bread, serve it up with some chips. You can also make a tuna melt. That's what my husband prefers. He'll eat it cold like this, but he prefers it warmed up so you just take the tuna fish place it on a slice of bread add some cheese add the other slice of bread and just cook it in a skillet like you would a grilled cheese sandwich that was our lunch this day simple easy but yummy Finally, we have what I call turkey and spinach wraps. I've made these for years There's no real recipe for them and I make them different pretty much every time I make them, depending on what I've got on hand. Here's what I'm using today. You'll need some sort of a wrap. I'm using these Mission spinach wraps. You can also just use a tortilla or um, like the flat out bread, whatever you like. We have some fresh spinach. I'm using some turkey breasts. Now today I have some of this vegetable cream cheese on hand, so I'm going to use that. But a lot of times I'll use the Laughing Cow Little Wedges or the Aldi brand version of that. And then today I have some cucumber and tomato that I need to use up, so I'm going to dice those. You could also add uh, celery, carrots, you could add bell peppers, whatever you like. So this is what I'm using today, but again, customize this. It's really simple again, no real recipe. I just wanted to share with you this idea. This is great um, for a quick lunch, especially if you work from home. It's something that you can just kind of hold and eat, um, you know, while you're working. And it's also great when um, I used to work out of the home. It was really great because I could just make these, pop them into my lunch, and then, you know, I would have lunch and I didn't have to worry about waiting for a microwave or anything like that. So let me show you how I make these. They're, again, so easy. I'm going to take one of my wraps and then add a layer of cream cheese. While I was doing this, it was kind of funny. You can see here that I started with a butter knife. And as I was doing it, I was like, man, I wish I had an offset spatula, but I don't have one. And then I remembered that my mom and dad got me a set of offset spatulas for Christmas. And I was like, yay, I can use it. I know that's silly, but I love, I love all kinds of kitchen gadgets. So it really made me happy to, <laughs> to have the offset spatula to use. I felt so professional. <laughs> anyway, next I'm going to add the diced tomato and cucumber. I'm going to add some of the spinach, some of the turkey breasts, and just add as much or as little as everything as you want. Finally, I'm going to roll it up. Sometimes I roll it up just like a burrito. Sometimes I do it like I'm doing today where I leave the ends open. It doesn't really matter either way. It eats the same. <laughs> but I'm going to roll that up and then slice it diagonally and then that's it. Lunch will be ready. Now to go along with my wrap, I had some fresh broccoli that I needed to use up. So I whipped up a quick broccoli salad. Um, I will link the original recipe that I use in the description box below, but I've made this so many times and for years, I just eyeball it. It's basically just fresh broccoli, mayonnaise, a little white vinegar, some sugar, salt, and pepper. Then you can add whatever additions you like. Today I added some chopped up Colby Jack cheese, bacon pieces, craisins, and some slivered almonds. 
Here's a picture of my plate. We've got the wrap and the broccoli salad. This was so, so yummy. And it was light, you know, a fresh lunch. It was delicious. Now with those wraps, they're not just good for adults, but they're also good for your kiddos. You know, if they won't eat vegetables you can leave those out and just do like the laughing cow cheese or cream cheese and then add whatever meat and cheese they like and roll it up for them you can also slice them into little pinwheels that's really cute um and honestly you can slice it into pinwheels even if you're an adult but that's it for today's video i hope that you liked it if you did please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i hope you have a great rest of the day thanks so much Bye bye